How do I get Joy to help me quench my sexual urge? I'm feeling a woman so much. I really need to have sex. I know what to do. If Joy did not agree I will meet Mercy. I know she will agree. Yes that is what I will do. But Bible warn against fornication. In 1 Corinthians 6, verse 18 to 20 says, Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body. But the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. Or do you not know that? Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, within you, whom you have from God. You are not your own, for you were bought with a price, so glorify God in your body. Yes, I know is a sin, but I can't help it anymore. I need to do it, so that I feel free. John, you are still up, are you not going to sleep? Yes mother, I am trying to pray so as to sleep. Have you forgotten, we have prayed together. Oh mom, I forgot. Good night, Mom. Good night, and make sure you off the light so as to enable you sleep. Okay, Mom. Yeah. Let me sleep till tomorrow, then I will plan on how to get, one of them, to sleep with me. Joy, where have you been? I've been searching for you. But I'm here with you. When are you going to answer me? I thought you say you love me. Why are you not making me feel it? See if fornicating with you, is the only way to prove I loved you, then count me out of it, because it is a sin against God, Bible condemn it, you of all people should know that, I mean you are a Christian, you know the word of God. But Joy, I can't help it, please help me just this once, see after we will pray for forgiveness. Don't you know, if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin, Hebrews, 10 verse 26, sin willfully, is similar to rebelling against God, so I do not such thing. Forget that, stop using God to cover up, I told you I will marry you. Then wait until we get married. It's obvious you never love me, stay away from me let me look for real love, there are thousands of girls out there, that are ready to do as I like, let me find one of them, since you don't want to help me. Can't you see Satan is trying to lure you into sin, say no to it, you can help yourself, by praying against seducing spirit, meditating on God's word all the time, read the book of Revelation, chapter 6, and so on, think of heaven, and how you must make it there, think of hell also, and how terrible it will be if you end up there, think of what if rapture take place while in the process, think of consequency that follows after, what if you contact disease, what if you sleep with a spirit, what if you sleep with a cultics, apart from is a sin against God, it can equally lead to untimely death, if you meet one of those I mentioned above, then fear of the consequency will make you forget about sex, in fact you will not know when a spirit will leave you, even if someone naked in front of you you will not notice it, because fear of the God will take control of your life. I don't want to think about anything else, except to sleep with you, I mean that is what my body needs right now? And if you are not ready to help me, know that you don't love me, excuse me. Fornication is not love, through love is the one Jesus gave to you on the cross of Calvary. Take your mind off from anything that will make you think about sexual immorality. Try to step away from any environment where you feel it's difficult to control your urges and think about Calvary. If you don't love me someone else does, let me go and meet Mercy, I know she will agree with me. Mercy, do you mind sleeping with me? I promise to love you. I don't mind but what of joy, I thought you like her. Forget her, I no longer want anything with her, she never loved me, is you a want? Are you sure? Of course, that is if you love me, and ready to do all I wanted, you will be the one I will marry. Okay, I will do as you say. Thank you for loving me, in fact let me start by taking you out. Of course, I love that. Is that not mercy? What is she doing with John? I pray they do not fall into Satan trap. In fact, I must warn her, because, Ezekiel, 3 verse 19, says, If you warn them, and they refuse to repent, and keep on sinning, they will die in their sins, but you will have saved yourself because you obeyed me, so I must warn her not to fall into Satan trap. Do you like the drink? Yes I love it. Let's go then. Leave it till next day, I'm not ready now. But why? You promised to help me quench my sexual urge. Why are you changing now? 
Tomorrow, please. Let me think of it. Are you sure you will not disappoint me by tomorrow? No, I will not. Okay, tomorrow then. I will be thinking about it till tomorrow. Okay, no problem. Where are you going, Joy? I'm coming to your house. What for? I came to let you know that fornication is a dangerous sin, it can kill, so stay away from it. Don't allow Satan to destroy you through fornication. We are in end time, every believer should try to avoid anything that will give Satan access to his or her life, such like fornication. A lot of soul have been destroyed through fornication. Satan has stolen a lot of people's destiny through fornication. A child of God should learn to avoid fornication and other works of flesh, as written in Galatians 5 verse 19 to 21, says, Now the works of the flesh evident are sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. So why are you telling me all these? Because I saw you and John, and I knew what he is up to, do not fall for him. You are a child of God remember, committing sin is not the problem, the problem is the consequency that follows after. I heard you, thank you. You are welcome. Mercy, you promised today, don't disappoint me. I'm scared, I don't want to sin against God. Don't worry, I love you, just say yes, and I will marry you, don't be scared. Are you sure you will marry me? Yes, I'm sure. Okay then, let's do it. Thank you, mercy. Mercy, what are you doing in my house? I'm pregnant. What? Why so fast? But you say you will marry me, come and see my parents. I'm not ready for marriage now, let's remove the baby. What? What if I die at the process? You will not die, I will take you to a good hospital, just don't tell anybody. This is not what you promise me, you promise to marry me, keep your promise. See don't be scared you will not die, a lot of people are doing it and nothing happened to them, so nothing will happen to you, just relax, pretend as nothing happened, tomorrow it will be over. Oh God save me, I don't want to die, I wish I never listened to you. Be going, I don't want my mother to know about it. What have I put myself into? I wish I listened to joy. I don't want to die. Why are you crying? Is nothing. I saw you crying while coming. What is the problem, tell me. I'm pregnant for John. What, you mean you ignore my warning? He promised he will marry me. So, have you tell him, about your condition? Yes. So, what did he say? He said by tomorrow, he will take me where I will remove the baby, that he is not ready for marriage now. I warn you, you never listen, fornication is dangerous, especially to the girls, stop listening to men. They can promise you heaven and earth just to get you, and after they will deny you, and disappoint you, you are the one that going to suffer sin of fornication most, and... Listen, don't remove the baby, keep it, and ask God for forgiveness, he will still forgive you, one sin begat another sin, and more sin until the person perish, is only when you are trying to cover it, but when you stop, repent and make restitution, Satan will run away from you, don't remove the baby keep the baby, and God will forgive you. I don't want my parent to find out about it, they will disown me. They will not, tell them the truth, even if they punish you for a moment they will still forgive you later, don't let John deceive you again into killing the baby, that will be more sin, and if you die in it, you will go to hell. Okay. Let's go and remove the baby, I have discussed with the doctor, he promised to do it very carefully, so don't be scared. What if I keep it? I want to keep it. Keep what? I'm not ready to be a father. If you are keeping it, you are on your own. I will not take responsible. So you better do what I ask you to do. Lie down, let's start. Doctor, I'm scared. I don't want to die. You will not die. Just relax.
Relax. Oh no. Doctor, how is she? Is she okay? I lost her. Please come with me. Okay, doctor, I'm behind you. Where is that boy? I thought he followed you. I think he has run away. I can't find him, and I don't know the girl he brought her. Let's look for him then. What have I done? I have put myself into trouble. Where do I hide now? I pray she hasn't tell anybody. What is keeping this girl outside by this time? This is serious. Good evening, sir. Please, I'm looking for Mercy. Is she here? No, you mean she not at home? She is nowhere to be found. I have looked for her everywhere. Let it not be what I'm thinking. Please, do you have any idea where she could be? Sir, I'm thinking, John knows where she could be. What? What is she doing in a man's house by this time? Sir, in fact go with police. He knows where she is. Thank you very much. Who are you looking for? Follow me to the station. I am made to understand that you know Mercy's whereabout. I don't know where she is. Answer me, where is she, or do you want to be tortured? No sir, she, she died in the hospital, while doing abortion. What and you keep it to yourself? I promise you will die in prison, whoever that kills die with the person. I should have listened. What have I put myself into? Is this how I will end, in life imprisonment? Now all my dream is gone. How did you manage to come in here? You are dead. You will soon join me. No, I don't want to die now. Can a man take fire in his bosom, and his clothes not be burned? Fornication is dangerous, it kills soul, run away from it. Save me lord, I have learned my lesson, help me eat. <laughs> Thank you Jesus, is a dream. I cast every spirit of fornication in my life out, in the name of Jesus, every negative imagination, that will lure me into sinning against God, get out of my life, from now on, my heart will be out only, on the things that matter, that saving my soul to make heaven at last, Amen. Hello, John, you say you want to see me. Get behind me. What did you say? Don't worry, I no longer need you. Having sexual urges, are normal and usually according to the body system, but the word sex, as entitled by the Bible basically, is for a married couple, but the urges are for everybody, including the unmarried Christian, but most times these urges arise, and then your capacity cannot carry, or endure it, at this point, what you must do is, 1, to pray for God's help, knowing fully well that without God, you cannot do anything, or accomplish anything, the devil is also out on his mission, to devour, so when you fall prey, it is said that his mission is accomplished, that is why you must pray consistently, consistent prayer with the right mindset, makes an individual, always on guide, and alert, praying seasonally, isn't just advisable, when prayer is done consistently, it yields a better result, so prayer is one of the ways to overcome sexual urges. Also, guard and engage, the mind in positive thinking, Proverb, 23 verse 4, the mind is an originator of thought, as a Christian, you are a product of your thought, before any action is carried out, or displayed, it has already been carried out and accomplished in the mind, sex inclusive, so when your mind, and heart is occupied, with positive things, there is virtually no room for negative things, such as premarital sex, although, we are human, despite being in control of our thought, certainly negative thought come but, it is advisable to focus that energy on something beneficial, if the sex is what you think of every time, it is quite distracting, and time wasting, Hebrew 4 verse 12. Thirdly, avoid tempting situation, as a Christian that what to control sexual urge, you should be mindful of the situation, or event you find yourself in like, the kind of video you watch, or places you visit, like parting, or being alone with the opposite sex, at a point in time, avoid it. And finally, think of the consequences, the Bible says that, our body is the temple of God, and also warns against the danger of fornication, premarital sex, and adultery, with the grave consequences, and punishment, as a Christian when you don't control your sexual urge, it leads to fornication, then the consequences, could turn out harmful, or death, 
Every action leads to reaction. Always think of the consequences that follows after. Sinning is not a problem. The problem is what comes up after. That is why you must put consequency first whenever you are thinking of sin. By so doing you will be totally free from not only fornication, but every other sin. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe, like and share. God bless you. And remember, Jesus really loves you.